what's going on my name is ayoka and i'm getting ready to bring you a reading for aries so if your sun moon or rising is an aries what's good if you're an aries lover how you doing okay take it as if i'm speaking directly to you remember to use the spirit of discernment as you're viewing this video take what you need you leave what you don't need also flip these roles as you see fit i'm gonna set my intention so we can be on the same page energetically I have my air fire running in the background, so if you do hear that industrial noise, that's what it is. And when you hear the loud beat, that's what it is, okay? So, thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, my angelic guides, for helping me with this Aries reading. Protect us as we go through the spiritual gates to commune with you. Close the gate to anything that's not in alignment with the divine's will. Thank you for using me as the messenger, speaking through me directly, mm, speaking through me loud and clearly. And I ask that you close the door to all communications for any karmic energies. And so it is. Show me what I need to see for Aries. What's the energy for Aries? So you feel restricted. Okay, remember flip the rules. Something here makes you feel restricted. It could be your money or something you value. With the financial constraint card in the upright. I forgot to shut my son door, y'all, my baby. You don't have a strategy, so you don't have a clear plan now. Now you're like, oh shit, what am I going to do about this, right? Because you want to take action, but you don't really have a clear plan on this, okay? So in order to achieve whatever you're trying to do, of course, it's going to require you to have a strategy, right? And here with the action card comes out, and it has something to do with someone you love, okay? A man holding a heart, angel of balance. So you're trying to make some type of self-honoring choice here. And the anxiety card comes out, but you're anxious, you're fearful about whatever this is, and it's a restriction, and it's preventing you from being able to take action here on this man holding a heart, or you may be that man holding a heart, right? So, again, flip the roles. What is the constraints about? Third party situation, okay? Seven of swords in a reverse position. Something came out, some truth was revealed. <clears throat> in regards to this three of cups in a reverse the world card so when it comes to some type of achievement or some type of goal here some truth was revealed in this <clears throat> and so whatever that truth was right what I'm saying is like somebody's not clicking well with someone in this story. Okay, so out of this third party situation, it's like at first you thought you were going to be able to have this achievement, but something is now blocking it. Okay, Ace of Wands in a reverse position. So what I'm seeing here is some type of trial or tribulation that just hit you like, bam. And you looking like, oh, snap, this may be a short term situation here that I got going on here with this person. This could be a short term love affair. This could whatever it is it's like something here is like somebody's not motivated or they're feeling very unmotivated it's like that feeling of a lack of right you may have been trying to follow your heart with this situation here and now the restriction has popped up what's the restriction about what's the constraint what's the truth that's been revealed show me what i need to see whatever it is look Okay, nine of swords in an upright position. That's still that anxiety. Something may even have you stressed, may keep you up at night, or your thoughts just may be extremely dark about this situation because now it's like you're realizing that they're not going to come towards you with this um, Knight of Pentacles in a reverse. At first, you thought it was going to be some type of progress, but it was like a slow progress. You're like, okay, maybe this person is just moving slow. They're being steady. I'm trying to accomplish whatever their goals are. But now it's like, okay, this may not happen. They're not pursuing anything, okay? And it's, it's making you very anxious here. Mm -hmm. And you, I feel like you feel powerless on top of that with the magician in the reverse. It's like, how do I manifest something like this? But it's also some type of illusion or something here, okay? Ten of Swords, it's... it's, it's you're, whatever happened, you may be dwelling on it, okay? Because I feel like that situation may have ended badly, but you're still kind of holding on to some things within that ending, okay? Tell me about the magician in the reverse. Three of swords, still third-party type situation. You were hoping to manifest a reconciliation, 
but it didn't happen. It could have been some type of magic involved in this story. It doesn't have to be, but I got the devil next to the magician. And yeah, that could be black magic. That could be um, um, some type of addiction, obsession, codependencies, manipulation, lies, whatever is happening, right? What I'm saying here, because both these were in the reverse, it ended up being um, the situation has been, you thought you were going to recover from it in some kind of way because you feel like y'all have some type of attachment um with this person but the thing i'm seeing is like it's a soul tie but it's it's an unhealthy soul tie because the devil's involved right so that could be karmic as well um but overall this person may have released or you may have released the situation in some kind of way okay now they ain't really telling me why but you know you know what's going on here you want to tell me why yeah, I'm still getting this. Like, nope, we don't need to know all that. They know. <laughs> so, four pinnacles here. Someone is releasing um, or, or giving or being more generous here with something here. It could be around money, too. You know, you may not feel supported or welcome at this point where you thought you were going to have some type of recognition or you were going to be successful here with it because this Six of Wands is in a reverse position. Show me about the strategy in a reverse. Let me get something to drink, y'all, because dehydrated tell me about the strategy in the reverse <clears throat> yeah you thought you were going to be able to make some type of adjustments you had some plans that you made or this person may have and overall they could have been romantic goals but they're failing okay well you may feel like it's failing um but overall you have set a goal you were definitely trying to see some type of progress here within the situation. But, of course, someone made a decision. And overall, someone made a decision to walk away is what I'm saying with the Eight of Cups. That wasn't part of the goal. That wasn't part of the plan, right? So now it's like, okay, my original plan was this. Now I don't even know how to re-strategize this plan because I thought that this was what's going to happen. That this person may have made some type of adjustments or you may have made some type of adjustments here to um, manifest this. But a decision was made. And now four swords is in an upright position. is a lot of anxiety or, or fear surrounding this situation. Tell me about this man holding a heart. about the man holding a heart I don't know what I need to say. king of pentacles in the reverse so they're not offering anything serious is what i'm saying the king of pentacles usually operates in their lower self maybe out of greed or something like that right so i don't know if that's you or if this is your person coming in but it's a lot of love you got for this person right now with the world card coming out in the upright position again it's like i see this person as my world Okay, I want to achieve something here with this person here. But you ended up being burdened by a situation. Something is burdening you with this this um, person. Ten of Wands in an upright position. Masculine energy coming in. Something is burdening you about that masculine. Or if you're the masculine, this person feels burdened by you. Okay? Or burdened by the situation. And now they're just over it. Four cups coming out. This is totally like withdrawn. Um... In everything. Show me what I need to see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when it comes to you guys' connection, you thought that you it would just require you to be patient. Two of Cups. You thought patience was going to help bring you guys together. You felt like if you kept fighting for it and being resilient about it, well, this person may feel like that, then it would happen. With the Temperance card in the middle, it's like, yeah. But it ended up not going this way. And now this situation is 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 totally against what you had planned. Yep, the devil card. It's like someone is now deciding to be independent or or literally somebody may be standing in their power at some point. Um, but I do see here that those chains, whatever is bond. I know I couldn't even say it. I couldn't even get it out. Sorry, y'all. It's like somebody is releasing the situation. Okay? Or freeing themselves. The Page of Pentacles. I, I, 
you know, Aries, you or this person may have been trying to manifest this situation here with the Page of Pentacles in the upright position. Had a lot of ideas. Three of Wands, wanted to see some type of progress, wanted to expand in everything. But again, it's requiring you to actually um, do some soul searching now at this point because it feels like what you were trying to plan again, it's not happening. So now you're like, let me go within with this situation. So you may be a little withdrawn in your energy or this person may be, but it's like somebody's trying to do some soul searching and going into hermit mode really for this point. Um, at this point, tell me here. Yep. Anxious because it's like with that nine of wands coming out. Yep. Same two cards. Nine of wands and the, pen, the page of pentacles. And that's what it's about. It's like, how much more do I got to put in? How much more resilient do I got to be about manifesting this? It's too much. It's already too much adversity. It's already too much co um, coming at me with this that I got to fight for this. For this idea to manifest this situation. So um, it's going to take... I'm going to get some advice, but I keep seeing nines and things. So you got to really do some um, self-evaluation overall here. Assess the situation. And this is what it's saying. It's like go into hermit mode. Do some soul searching. Assess the situation here so that you'll be able to make some decisions. Okay. So what does this person feel about Aries? The contract card is in the reverse. So what it looks like is that they don't want to have this endings. They don't, they want it to end. It's like they don't want to have a partnership or they don't want to be, um, it's, this card speaks of delays and everything. So let me see something. So the contract card in reverse indicates the ending of a previous connection where a future commitment is concerned. All right. So that's going to be possible disappointments here. It, it's going to fall through one of those type things. It's like that fell plan like you were like you were feeling like, OK, I'm feeling this intuitively. You already are feeling it. Tell me about that. Contract in the reverse. Yep. Ace of Wands in a reverse position. This person is um, unmotivated. It, it was short term. OK, is what I'm seeing. Yeah, page of swords in the reverse. So they're not really motivated. Again, they're not determined to um, take any action or even to fight for it. It's almost like, you know, just, just let it in. I don't even want to fight for it. You know, I don't even want to, I don't want to balance the scales. I don't, you know, you, it's like that feeling like you can have them, you can have the money, you can have the house. <laughs> One of those feelings, right? Thank you. Show me what I need to see. I'm not laughing, but it's, it, you know, at you, it's just... Sometimes the way it goes in my head, though how I visual visualize it and how I visualize people's faces. Okay, right. It's like they have this idea with the page of wands, and the idea is to go after what they want to achieve. They're going after their own personal goals. This is where the inspiration is headed in. And they're just at the beginning of this journey, um, is what I'm seeing here. But they're very passionate about whatever it is that they want to achieve. And what is that? Okay, so it's causing some conflict with the five of wands, of course, and this conflict is involving several people. So it's not just you and them, it's external um, factors. Okay, so what is it that they want to achieve? Oh, they want to take this personal transition. This is it. It's like they want to transition by themselves. Personal transition here. Um, they're ready to embark on a new journey is what I'm seeing. Show me what I need to see. Mm -hmm. So they may have reconciled with someone with the three of sports in the reverse, or they're just trying to move on. Yeah, because the chariot is right next to it. They're trying to overcome these obstacles, and they're ready to move on from this situation. Thank you. Show me what it is. And that's that feeling I was getting. They're just ready to move on. Like, I don't want anything from it. It's like how I did when I got, um, when I was going through my divorce. It's just like, do you want this? Do you want, no. 
I just want a divorce. Like, I don't care about assets or any of that. I can just, look, I'll just, look, <laughs> just let me go, all right? I don't care if I don't get nothing out of this shit. I'm ready to go, all right? But something, don't delay it. The Tower card in the reverse. They just been delaying it for so long. It's because they wanted to avert the disaster, chaos, confusion, right? Show me what I need to see with this Tower in the reverse. Yeah. And really what they're after is their nine of cups. It's like they're looking for their own happiness here, their own wish fulfillment. They want to make progress. They're ready to expand outside of the situation or you are. However it is, look, the devil's in the reverse. It's like they're, they're ready to end the codependency. They're ready to end the unhealthy attachment. So they, they may feel like, yeah, they've, they've already... They've already judged it. Let's just put it that way. They've already did the self-evaluation about this situation. They've already taken um, to even check in there with their own selves. Like, look, let me check myself for a minute, right? And right now, it's like, yeah, they are focusing here. Eight of Pentacles may be on um, their job. They're trying to cultivate something. So they're listening to their intuition at this point with the high priestess. They're listening to that inner voice here. It's like they're following... A calling is what I just heard. Yep, and the calling is leading them to their new beginning. Again, six of cups upright. So they may be have reconciled with someone from the past. Okay. Um whatever this is, is nostalgia. They're thinking. They're doing a lot a lot of a lot of thoughts that are coming to them right now, and they're divinely guided is what I'm hearing, and it's helping them to get towards their new beginning with the sun. So they're even changing their attitude or their mindset is what I'm seeing. It's like going to one that's more optimistic and one that's more positive is what I'm seeing here. What advice do you have for Aries? Forgive yourself. You've done nothing wrong. Okay? Forgive yourself. Let go of any self-blame. So guilt is interfering with the happiness you seek. You're blaming something for something that's in the past, but it's time to let it go, especially since self-blame is unproductive and unhealthy. In truth, you've done nothing wrong. You were doing the best you could at the time. Okay, so this either could be you or your person that needs to forgive themselves. Okay, but um, overall, just speak lovingly about yourself. Don't ruminate on the past. Okay, blessings to those you're, um, it says send blessings to those you're angry with as a way of healing yourself in the situation and know that you can't control other people's feelings or actions or reactions. Okay, now, um, keep your eyes on your targeted intention. What is it that you desire for yourself? What's your inner vision for yourself and your intentions here and have the confidence here and courage to take actions to your dream. And what I'm hearing is like your life purpose. See this person here as innocent, okay? Um, look at them through the eyes of that. Embrace your own innocence as well. Show me what I need to see. So, yes, it's, it's definitely like forgiveness of self and forgiveness of this other person is what I'm seeing. Holding you in the comforting grip. Okay, so ask um, God to help you forgive yourself and let go of any guilt or it's, it's like a heavy emotion that is keeping you from experiencing whatever that inner peace is that you need to feel it's like you got to release that and it's, it's going to come with forgiveness okay um and then begin to thank the divine for helping you with this thank archangel michael for helping you with this and for anything else okay that you may have blamed yourself for but release whatever the self-blame is from your mind your body and your emotion okay and then it says here, your past behavior can never undo God's perfect handiwork. So whatever happened, whatever you've done, is like God still loves you. <laughs> Period. God sees you still as innocent. Like you still can redeem yourself. The individual you're inquiring about is innocent. You may need to purify or detoxify. You can trust the situation that you're asking about. Focus on other people's good qualities instead of their mistakes. Self-respect. 
Your self-respect is key. And it's time to leave an unhealthy situation. Let me tell you about the self-respect and then that other card. And then I'll close out for you. You're being supported, okay? A whole lot, if you ask, okay? And you're being advised to respect and love yourself. The situation you're inquiring about has so many dysfunctional aspects, which can adversely affect your self-esteem. This card is a sign that it's time to honor yourself, even if others aren't treating you in a worthy manner. You deserve respect from yourself and others, for you are a beloved child of God. Get counseling to build your self-esteem. Leave an abusive situation. Let go of behaviors that you know deep down aren't healthy or right for you, as guilt erodes self-respect. Insist that others treat you with respect, and it's time to leave an unhealthy situation. Archangel Michael has heard your pleas for help, and the answer comes to you through this card. Leave with an explanation mark. That's a strong as leave, y'all. You've been enduring a toxic situation for far too long. Investing time and energy that isn't yielding helpful results. This experience is a bit, isn't beneficial for you or the other people involved. You don't need to remain in negativity, beloved one. Walk away without guilt or hesitation. The angels are assisting you to ensure that the parting is a harmonious is as harmonious as possible. And Archangel Michael will shield and protect you. Follow your inner guidance every step of the way and the transition will be smooth. Okay? Leave, Aries. It's time to leave this unhealthy situation. Your self-respect is most important. All right? So I will catch you guys later. Peace. Don't forget to hit the like button, y'all. Thank you.